Okay, I'm going to talk to you about something called square double square. It's a method of multiplying binomials when you're squaring binomials. Um, later on you'll learn something called binomial expansion. But for now, I'm going to show you how this works. Um, let's say you have A plus B. Quantity squared. A lot of you guys do this. A plus B times A plus B. And then you FOIL the whole problem out. Well, in this case here, it follows this definition. When you do that, you're going to get this answer. A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. And the same thing if you have A minus B quantity squared. You're going to get A squared minus 2AB plus B squared. Now, you got to pay attention to the sign here. This sign on the plus determines what that sign is going to be here. And this sign, the minus sign, determines what sign this is going to be. This and this are always positive. They're always positive. Alright, so let's do a problem here. Let's say we have 2x squared minus 3y squared, the quantity squared. Um, Alright, so let's do this. And I've shown this to people, and this is pretty much the one that they get. Um, right square, double square. Bring the first term down, you get 2x squared there. Multiply the middle terms, you get 6x squared, y squared. And bring down the last term, which is the 3y squared. Um, just so you know, um, this is your a, okay, and this term here is your b. So what's happening here is it's written like this, a minus b quantity squared, okay. So now the minus, minus sign goes here, and this is always positive here, so um, one thing you need to know here is, um, before we square this here, when you have a variable to a power raised to a power, any number to a power raised to a power, you multiply the power. So here you're going to get P2N. Okay. Um, so in this case here, uh, and if this 2 was a 3, anything, it's just the same thing. So to generalize it, p to the n raised to the m is equal to p to the n m. Okay? So, I'm going to write this in a couple steps, and in the next problem we'll skip them. But for now, I'm going to show you exactly what's happening. And I hate saying the word distribute, but just for right now, just for you to remember, you're kind of distributing this 2 here and this 2 here. And so you get 2 squared, and this will be x squared squared minus 2 times 6 is 12 x squared y squared plus 3 squared y squared quantity squared 2 squared is 4 x squared squared is x to the fourth minus 12 x squared y squared plus 3 squared is 9 y squared squared is y to the fourth and this would be a final answer Okay, let's do another problem. What if we have 9x cubed y minus 10ab cubed raised to the 2 squared? Okay, so let's do this. First, write our little arrows. And here we're going to have square and we're going to double, and then we're going to square again. So square, double, square. Bring the first term down. There's an invisible one here. Just I thought I'd take time to tell you that since it's here. There's an invisible one here and an invisible one here. Um, in case you didn't know that. Uh, 9 times 10 is... 90 
x cubed y a b cubed and bring the last term down that's 10 a b cubed this sign here, the minus sign, determines what this sign is going to be. So this is going to be minus, and this one here is going to be plus, always plus. Uh, 9 squared is 81. x cubed squared is x to the 6, and y squared is y squared. Minus 2 times 90 is 180. x cubed and I'll just go ahead and switch things around here b cubed a y and this will be 10 squared which is 100 a squared b to the sixth okay now it looks like I have time for one more problem so let's do another problem this is your final answer here Let's do one more problem. How about A, B, C minus D, E, F squared, cubed, squared, squared, quantity, squared. All right, let's do this. Square, double, square see how he's making space and thinking ahead because all these are going to have to get inside of here. So bring down the first term you got a squared b c cubed then you write all these down a squared b c cubed d squared e f squared and the last term is d squared e f squared Okay, minus sign, plus sign. Uh, if this had been plus, this would have been plus here, okay? But since it's not, we're just going to leave it like this. So you're going to get a to the fourth, b squared, c to the sixth, minus 2 times all this. So this is going to be a squared, b, c cubed, d squared, e f squared plus d to the fourth e squared f to the fourth and that would be your final answer I would suggest just making problems up and then doing the same thing we did here and you'll see that um, it, it gets simpler as you go alright thanks